So now let's discuss a unique class of beta-lactam antibiotics known as the monobactams. For step one, there's only one important monobactam you need to be aware of, and that is estreonam. So if we think back for a moment to the beta-lactam antibiotics we discussed previously, such as amoxicillin, piperacillin, or penicillin, we will recall that the class of drugs all share a unique chemical structure made up of a four-membered ring and a five-membered ring in the case of penicillin that makes it the important chemical structure of the beta-lactam antibiotics. Monobactams are different from these other beta-lactam antibiotics because they only have this one four-membered ring structure that makes up the important part of the molecule. They do not have this five-membered ring. They are monobactams. They have one important structural ring. Although estreonam is different chemically from the other beta-lactams, they still share the same mechanism of action. That is, they inhibit the bacterial transpeptidase enzyme found in the bacterial cell wall. A really important feature of these changes in the chemical structure is that the drug estreonam is far less susceptible to beta-lactamases, which makes it a very clinically useful drug. Another benefit of estreonam is that it is not cross-allergenic with the penicillins. It has no cross-allergenicity with penicillin. This means that even if a patient is allergic to penicillin, estreonam is safe to use and will not cause an allergic reaction. This is very important clinically because if a patient has renal insufficiency in, say, a penicillin allergy, then we can't give them penicillin, but we can give them estreonam. Estreonam is safe and tends to have few side effects and therefore can be very useful clinically. Unfortunately, although it has many benefits, estreonam has only very limited utility and is only effective against gram-negative rods.